good morning everybody. What we're going to have today is another Harrington Academy. Today's session will show you ER1 dual speed contactor control and then we're going to go to ER2 dual speed as well as two step and ER2 three step. What I want you to understand is the functionality of a contactor control hoist as well as the functionality of two step and three step. So let's begin with the Harrington hoist that was our mainstay from 1998 until 2008. This is an ER1 one ton dual speed hoist. You'll see there's two sets of contactors. There's a directional contactor, you're up and you're down, as well as a high speed contactor. What the dual speed hoist has is a pole change motor. There's actually two sets of windings. So the first contactor, the directional contactor, engages the first set of windings, and the second contactor engages the second set of windings. Contactor is simply a starter, if you will, for the motor windings. Okay, as you know, contactors are a wear item. They have a life cycle of anywhere from 500 to a million cycles, and they can wear. So, this unit, contactor control, dual speed hoist, ER1, and I'll engage the first set of contactors, and now the high, um, high speed contactor. Okay. Notice how much movement, how much torque there is with this type of uh, hoist. Speeds cannot be changed. Um, the speeds are set. This one happens to be 16 slash 5 feet per minute and speeds are not adjustable. So again, low speed, high speed. Lots of motor torque, lots of movement. This is what we eliminated when we went from ER1 to ER2. Okay, now what we're going to demonstrate is the new ER2. This is our standard two-speed and two-step unit. The nice thing about these hoists is they can be either two-speed out of the box or two-step out of the box. And either Harrington can program it to be two-step or through the owner's manual, the customer can program it to be two-step. The way it's set up right now, standard would be two-speed. And all we do is we're setting the frequency of the speeds. So in the owner's manual, you can uh, set it um, as low as a 12 to 1 spe speed ratio or as high as a 1 to 1 speed ratio. So it's currently set at a 6 to 1 speed ratio. That means the frequency um, on the low speed is going to be about 7.5 hertz and the frequency at the high speed is going to be about 54 hertz. So let's demonstrate. Low speed, you can see we're running about 7.3 and ramp up to high speed. Now we're running about 53 and a half. Okay? Incredible speed control. What you'll see is this, this operates very smooth. All that motor torque that we had with the ER1 has now been eliminated. I can literally feather this hoist, almost like an air hoist, going from low speed to high speed. Okay? Now the beauty of it is, is to adjust the, beat, the speeds, I simply go into my setup mode, hit enter, D1, O1, O1 is my low speed, O2 is my high speed. So if I wanted to change my O1 parameter, I'd hit enter, and now I can change the frequency. If I want to make this faster, I, I bump this number up to, say, 20 hertz, and it'll be faster than it currently was. Hit enter. Now if I want to change my high speed, I go to O2, and let's say I want to make my high speed slower. I simply just take this speed down, in this case we'll make it, 43, we'll make it 33 hertz and hit enter. Okay, now my speeds that I have set are 20 and 33 hertz. All right, so I'm going to have not even a 2 to 1 speed ratio here. I'm going to have about a 1 and a half to 1 and a nice medium lifting speed. So again, the functionality of this, take this back to where you can see the frequency. Okay, and much faster low speed at 20 hertz and now I'll ramp up and I have a slower high speed at 33 hertz. So the great thing is is how easy it is for the customer to adapt this hoist to a specific application. All right. Now let's take the hoist back and put it where it was so that we can show you the functionality of two step. So again I go into my setup mode, I hit enter, D1 O1, O1 being my low speed, I hit enter I'm going to change this back and put this back to about 8 hertz. So I'll move this down and move this over and let's just make this 8.3. Okay, enter to end, go to D1O2, that's my high speed, hit enter, 
And again, I'm going to take this up and let's just make this 53 hertz. Enter. So now my, my speed ratio again is set at 7 to 1. But now what I want to show is the two-step capability. And this is the ability to hold and maintain between the low speed and the high speed. So now I scroll up one more time. I get to my S1-25. Hit enter. If it reads 01, it's set up as a two-speed hoist. If it reads 02, it becomes two-step. So let's show you two-step and how this hoist will function at two-step. Okay, so again, here we go. I'm going to operate my low speed. Okay, very, very slow low speed. And now I'm going to ramp up to a high speed. Okay, and the setup time right now is set at about three seconds. Okay, if I simply just want to go in and make that delay from low speed to high speed longer, I can do that with the delay all the way up to about six seconds. But the nice thing about two-step is the ability from when I'm in low speed and go to high speed is to hold and maintain. So as I ramp up in speed here, you'll see the frequency increase, and then I'll be able to hold it and maintain. So accelerate, hold and maintain. There I'm holding and maintaining at 20. Let's say I want to go a little faster. Now I can hold and maintain at 30. Accelerate, hold and maintain at 42. Or complete full speed all the way up to 53. And that's the beauty of two-step. It's no longer set speeds. It's the ability to hold and maintain in between the low speed and the high speed, anywhere in between, and set that ramp-up time from as little as a second or two to as high as six seconds.